What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. It's free general collective reading for all signs. Catch your side to everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with the rest. Free general collective reading for Santa Libra. I um, love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. Thanks for all the new subscribers, all the uh, love and support to my channel. I really appreciate it, you guys. Okay. And only take the messages that resonate with the rest. We have double fire sign energy. So I feel for some, you could be dealing with one fire sign or two or two plus fire signs because you have double fire sign energy in your animal spirit cards. So you have tarantula and snake. So I feel for some, you could be dealing heavily, strongly with Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. If you are, they could have Aries, Leo, Sag, and they're in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Sun, Moon, with Jupiter charts. Whether you're dealing with one, two, or two plus, or none. How that resonates, it applies. Okay. But heavy fire sign energy in your animal spirit energy. I did receive a channel message as I was meditating on your energy, Libra. It's Piscean energy. Um, but Piscean energy could also, you know, anybody can take on these energies. So... It wasn't a good channeling, so I feel for one, this Pisces is about to take on the tarantula or snake energy or a combination, I'm just saying. But the channel message I received was, um, <clears throat> I heard a Pisces feminine um, third party situation um, is about to betray you in a huge way for one. For one, they are your primary uh, partner and they're about to betray you. Um, that was the first one. And then I got another Pisces message. So for one of you guys, you have a primary partner. Like you're dating a Pisces fam, you're dating them. Like they're your primary partner. Um, how that resonates and applies, okay? For one, um, you are, uh, they're your like sneaky third party. They're your sneaky third party and um, they're about to betray you. So whether they are your primary partner or they're your third party, um, they're about to betray you. How that resonates and applies. Pisces and Fem energy. Dog protection from powerful friend, dagger, fear, worries, intense situations. This could be this Pisces Fem, uh, whether they're your primary partner or a um, sneaky link, about to betray you. Um, how that resonates and applies. Oh, and the other one I heard, um, a Pisces masculine lawyer, um, for one, you're about to have to lawyer up, and a Pisces masculine lawyer is about to be a really shit lawyer. You think they're going to be amazing. How that resonates and applies, Libra. So, for one, you're about to have to um, lawyer up. Now, I didn't hear why you're going to have to lawyer up. Confirmation from my phone. Maybe for one of you guys, you're going to receive a text or a email or a, a phone call or something. Um, but it's a Pisces masculine lawyer. There's many reasons one would have to lawyer up, but I heard basically, um, you think they're going to be an amazing lawyer, but they're going to end up being a shit lawyer. So why ever, whatever reason you're about to have to lawyer up. Okay. Dog protection from a powerful friend, dagger, fear, worries, intense situations, caterpillar, things will always be this way. A change is coming. A realtor's business, fast selling houses for fast cash, realtor's business, real estate business, a Libra, huge ownership in this business, a Libra is a huge ownership in this business, negative communication from the state regarding taxes is significant in this, and IRS, negative IRS communication is about to become significant in this business. It's already declined in a huge way. It will continue. Oh, my God. Okay, so there's some kind of real estate business out there that a Libra 
either owns or co-owns or what have you, what have you. Um, this could be you or somebody you're connected to, masculine or family Libra, but one of you guys either co-owns uh, real estate, fast cash, buy houses, fast cash, now type of business um, for real estate, or you are connected to it in some shape, form, or fashion. But um, you either own it or co-own it, I feel it, I feel or have a huge share in it. But how that resonates, I heard the business has already severely declined and it will continue to decline. It will, I heard it will continue to decline. There was already some kind of negative communication from the state regarding taxes with this business, apparently. And there's about to be negative communication from the IRS, which is federal level. So it's not state level, that's federal level regarding th this business. So how that resonates and applies, Libra. Um, for one, I feel you could have done business in the past with this fast cash for now, uh, fat buy houses for fast cash business in the past. Or you know of this business, or you have a ownership in this business, or your owner or co-owner, or what have you, what have you. I'm pulling that in very strong. It could make you very worried because there's something going on with taxes with this business, not only on the state end, but federal level end as well, and changes. I mean, this business has already received negative communication from the state regarding taxes, state or states. I didn't hear which state, depending on wherever they can do business and um, wherever. But they're about to get federal, not just state level. Number 45 could be a very significant number in one's life. Number 45, it could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number. Number 45. Purity. Tarantula. A Pisces that severely took advantage of you and others. They are about to move on. And move on in a huge way. For one, it's a Pisces femme. For one, it's a Pisces masculine. One, you are a co-worker. One, you were in a con artistry situation with this Pisces in the past. Okay, one, you were a, were a lover, when you were a lover. Okay, so some kind of, okay, so Pisces, heavy Piscean energy in here. So uh, Libra, so whether this is a lover, former lover, a co-worker, or someone that you were in a con artistry situation with in the past, how that resonates and applies, okay? Lover, former lover, co-worker, current co-worker, or somebody you were in a former, oh, well, some kind of con artistry situation. So it could be pyramid scheme. Sounds like Federal Trade Commission reporting energy to me, but you plug it in how it resonates. But however that resonates, she's about to move on. She it's a Pisces spin. She's about to move on. Um, uh, whether she's getting another job or not having a job or just leaving her current job in the co-working situation, whether she's breaking up with you or getting another lover or dating somebody else or moving on with the lover or current lo uh, former lover. And um uh, with the car and artistry situation, I guess she's moving on from the car and artistry situation. Now, hell, I don't know. That's criminal written all over it. Only you know if you were involved with the Pisces fam with some kind of car and artistry, okay? But um, huge energy sucker, huge taking advantage of situations here. This Pisces, she's a Pisces fam, and that could be the snake too. Um, she's a huge ass snake.
Many spiders. Many, 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 many spiders. Many, many, many spiders are about to appear in unexpected places to a Libra. It's about to freak you out so bad. They're about to show up, many of them, out of the blue, all over the place, in many places, public and private. Oh my God, whoa. So many spiders are about to just show up all over the place. I didn't hear why they're going to, but uh, sounds like they're just going to show up all over the place. Unexpected ways, unexpected places, public and private, just all over the damn place. Now, I don't know why. You know why. You know why is what I just heard. You know why. So you know why these spiders are about to just show up all over the damn place. Sounds like somebody needs an exterminator. Sounds like somebody needs a damn exterminator. And that's just the truth. Uh, I heard you know why they're about to show up. So I don't know, Libra. It doesn't sound like a fun little spider tattoo. This sounds like real spiders. Um, Sounds like somebody needs an exterminator. For some, I wonder if this is in those buy, buy, cap, buy the realtor company with buying all these houses and flipping them for the buy fast cash nail situation. I wonder if they're in these homes. I didn't hear they were going to be, but there's a reason they're showing up public and private. So I feel in somebody's private residence or these homes that are being trying to be flipped, how that resonates and applies. Uh, sound like real spiders. Snake. A Capricorn is about to cut you off. Cut you off. One, it's a family member. One, it is a person you grew up with in the past. It's going to shock you. Okay, I heard a Capricorn is about to cut you off. Um, heavy Capricorn energy, whether it's a family member or someone you grew up with in the past. So snake energy, they're about to put their claws, I mean, not their claws, their fangs in and block you. They're about to block you. Um, I heard they're about to cut you off. So I think it might make you worried, uh, possibly. Uh, some kind of tense situation, worry situation, because they're about to block you, possibly. Maybe for some, I feel you might not care. But uh, definite changes energy, uh, heavy caps energy. Whether it's someone you grew up with or uh, a family member. For one, they're a teenager. For one, they are a very wealthy person. They're getting huge wake-up calls. For one, they're a teenager, and for one, they're a wealthy person, and they're about to, they're getting huge wake-up calls. So if they're getting huge wake-up calls, there's a reason that they're about to cut you off, Libra. We've got family member in here and a person you grew up with in the past and a wealthy person and a teenager. I feel all caps energies, I feel. But they're about to start cutting you off. Um, how that resonates and applies. But they're getting a huge wake-up call. I think you might have been a snake to them in the past. Or they feel you were a snake to them in the past. And that's why changes are coming. There's a reason they're about to cut you off. Is what I'm saying. So I think you might have betrayed them. There was huge betrayals here. Huge. There was huge betrayals here. Huge. So whether you betrayed them or they betrayed you. I think you. if this resonates for you, you betrayed them. We have a teenager. Cap's teenager in here, a Cap's wealthy person, a Cap's um, family member, and a Cap's person in your, uh, you grew up with. Dog protection from powerful friend. A mother, your mother, your mother is about to defend you. For 
For one, you should rightfully be defended. For one, you should not. For one, this is going to go well for the mother. For one, this is not. So heavy mother energy. Biological mother. Biological mother. Biological mother energy. Okay, so there's two of you. For one, that it sounds like both of these biological mothers are going to defend you. So they're going to defend you in some shape, form, or fashion. I heard for one, they should defend you. For one, they should not. Um, one, it's going to go well for them. So good side of the karmic wheel. For one, it's not. So however that resonates and applies, Libra. Protection in this aspect is your biological mother defending you. I think you've been worried about something, some kind of tense situation. Now, only you know what these situations are. Should you be defended or should you not be defended? But for one, I heard it's going to go well for the mother, but it sounds like you should be defended. For one, it's not going to go well for the mother, but it doesn't sound like you should be defended. So, protection from a powerful friend in this aspect is your biological mother. For one, you're a high-level investigator, and you're about to protect someone from gang stalking. Someone tried to convince you it was not real, but you know now it is. Well, that's a beautiful one. Okay, so for one, you're a high-level investigator. So, I don't know if this is feds or police or state or what have you, what have you. Some kind of investigator energy. Uh, high-level, sir, ma'am. Uh, whoever you are. High level investigator you are the powerful friend in this aspect you're about to protect someone else from gang stalking i heard you were con somebody tried to mentally convince you in the past it wasn't real but i heard now you know it is so in this aspect oops sorry um in this aspect i feel you are the high level investigator and the snake energy was somebody trying to mani mentally manipulate you in the past trying to convince you that gang stalking was not real but you know now it is so now you're going to help protect somebody from gang stalking. Congratulations, sir, ma'am. My hat's off to you. I love people like this. For one, there's about to be a domestic violence situation in your family. You're going to have to call the law. And you will. Oh, man. So, for one, it doesn't sound like it's happened yet, but it's upcoming. Some kind of domestic violence situation in your family. I heard you, um, you're not going to want, um, it's going to be so severe, this domestic violence situation in your family. I heard you're going to uh, end up calling the law, and I heard you will. So, in this aspect... You, this is you getting protection from the law, is what I'm feeling. Um, is what exactly what I'm feeling. So, you calling the law for protection um, of some kind of domestic violence situation. And for one, you're about to get a new job. And it's going to be the best thing that ever happened to you. Your boss is going to be amazing. Seriously amazing. And for one, you're about to get a new job. It's going to be the best thing that ever happened to you. I heard your boss is going to be seriously amazing. So protection from a powerful friend in this aspect, I think, is your new boss. Um, for some, I think you can be worried about money, uh, stressed about money, and that's why you're about to get the new job. How that resonates and applies Libra. Um, congratulations. I'm all about independence on this bitch. So, congratulations. So, in this aspect, this is um, your uh, new boss, I feel. Dagger, fear, worries, intense situations. Investigation into a credit union and money laundering and identity theft and fraud is about to become very significant in Libra's life. One, you're going to help investigate it. One, you participated in this. Okay, and one you're going to report on this, and one you're going to report on it. So there's three of you. One you're going to you're going to make some kind of report on money laundering, identity theft, fraud, and of a in a credit union. Um, 
you, one, you're going to make a report on it. One, you did it. You helped participate in it, had some kind of hand in it. One, you're about to investigate it. So heavy investigator energy, um, just saying, just saying. And obviously the person that was identity thieved and stole from and money laundered, I'm sure they're worried where the hell their money is. Um, or can they feed their mouse with their kids? Can they feed their mouse? I mean, somebody took from somebody, strictly stealing. And it was in a credit union. So I'm sure they're worried where the hell their money is because they might not be able to feed themselves or their kids. A Libra nurse is about to step up and make an official report soon. They know some huge information and they're about to do it. A Libra nurse uh, on money laundering and theft. And fraud and identity theft. Oh, money laundering, fraud, identity theft. However that resonates. Okay. So one, you're a Libra nurse. You can be LPN, RN, CRNP, whatever, whatever, whatever. Um, you know, I think you're worried because you, I think you know you're an accomplice to this situation if you don't officially report it. I heard you know information on money laundering, theft, fraud, identity theft, the whole works. And you're about to make an official report. I think because you're worried you, you're an accomplice because you know this information. And the thing is, if you're a nurse, you're a position of high authority in your community. You're heavily in the public eye. It, it would be smart to officially report it. Just saying, just saying. I think you're worried about it. That's why you're about to officially report it. You know something on identity theft, money laundering, fraud, the whole works. Only you know your situation and story, not anybody else. Caterpillar thinks when I always always be this way, a change is coming. For one, you have been a victim of racism in a hospital recently. About to, uh, corporate compliance hotline is significant already and it's about to become very significant in your life. For one, you have been a victim of racism in a hospital recently. So the snake energy, I feel somebody um, was nasty to you racist racist energy in a hospital libra now i don't know what race you are only you know what race and ethnicity you are not anybody else but um i mean i've been a victim of racism before and i'm white um but i worked around a bunch of people that were not white and that's just the truth but you've been, you have already been a victim of racism in a hospital i think you are employed in a hospital um but it sounds like you've already called the corporate compliance hotline or somebody has regarding this. Um, I heard they've already become significant in this. They're about to become more significant. So it sounds like the corporate compliance hotline is about to help with some kind of racism. I think you're worried about your coworkers and racist activities or racial slurs or some kind of hate crimes possibly due to racism. Um, something to do with the corporate compliance hotline. And I think that's where the powerful friend comes in with the corporate compliance hotline. They are going to help. Corporate is about to become very significant in this. They're going to help. Corporate is about to become very significant in this. So, sir, ma'am, I don't know what race you are. I didn't hear what race you are. Um, only you know if you were a victim of racism in your workplace in a hospital in the past. But corporate compliance, uh, corporate is about to become significant to help you, sir, ma'am. They are going to help you. Protection from powerful friend in this aspect is corporate compliance hotline and corporate. I think you've been very worried about this. I think there might have been racial slurs or some kind of racism or something of that nature. Um, I didn't hear the EEOC in here. I heard corporate. So corporate is actually going to step up. It doesn't sound like you need to go to the EEOC in this aspect. Sounds like corporate is going to help you. So, I mean, they are about really not about the best round. There has been huge changes here. They will continue to be. More activism okay i heard um there's been huge changes here there will continue to be more activism so more activism in this um 
corporate situation and this corporate conglomerate um, doesn't sound like they really stood up for racism possibly in the past um, or racial slurs or racial um, segregation or something of that nature in the past but it sounds like they're becoming more active more activism energy with that and they're both so that's beautiful purity for one you're pregnant for one you're about to learn about a pregnancy for one you're pregnant and for one you're about to learn about a pregnancy so for one you're pregnant and one you're about to learn about a pregnancy so pregnant energy purity energy one you're pregnant one you're about to learn about a pregnancy so you plug it in how it resonates And a hidden camera is about to be found in a child's bedroom soon. And once it is found in a child's bedroom, there is about to be chaos about to break out. For one, you're about to find this hidden camera. For one, you knew about it and you hid the information. And it will not go good for you. Okay, hidden camera is about to be found in a child's bedroom soon. So purity in this aspect is energy, um, innocence energy of the child being taken advantage of. Their innocence being taken away with exploitation of a hidden camera device, basically. For one, you're about to find the hidden camera in a child's bedroom. So I feel it might be your child or a child you care about. Um, innocence, exploitation of the child. Their innocence was taken away via voyeur camera energy. Um, but for one, you're going to take action. And you're going to find the hidden camera. So you're going to be a hero to your child or somebody you care about's child. For one, you knew about the hidden camera. And whoever is about to find the hidden camera, one of you will find it. One, you knew about it. So the one that knew about it and didn't take action, I heard it's going to go badly for you. So, but one, you're going to be a hero and you're going to find it. There's been a snake in your child's presence or vicinity or energy field. And they have, uh, either your child or somebody you're connected to child, it's in their bedroom, I heard. It's some kind of hidden camera in their bedroom. And um, somebody betrayed them and basically exploited their innocence, childlike innocence. All hell is about to break out when this is found. All hell is about to break out when this is found. So all hell is about to break out when this hidden camera is found. Exploiting a child. For some, I feel it's your child. For some, it's a child you care about. But it's in a child's bedroom. I'll tell you that right now. But for one, you know about it. And you're not saying shit. So you're the snake. In one situation, you're going to be a hero and help find it. There are hidden camera detector apps out there on iOS and Android for anybody needs to hear that information, okay? And when this hidden camera is found in, a, in the child's bedroom, a psychic is going to get huge high honor for this. And when this hidden camera is found in this child's bedroom, a psychic is going to get huge high honor for this. So some kind of psychic energy is going to help you um, maybe with this information on this or help uh, or help with the situation regarding the hidden camera in the child's bedroom or something of that nature but i heard when the hidden camera is found in the child's bedroom for the light side libra about to help locate it it's going to uh, uh a psychic's going to get high on her. so you're going to get high on her and the psychic's going to get high on her i feel for one the one about to find it maybe the psychic helped you find it or is helping you find it however that resonates with the class but for the other one, Libra, you are the snake in this situation because you know that damn hidden camera is in there and you ain't saying shit. So just saying, just saying. Imagine if it was your kid, low vibrational Libra. Imagine if that was your kid and somebody placed a hidden camera in your house or their bedroom. Anybody needs to hear that. There are many series of chain events, a stepmother... And a low vibrational father is about to go jail soon. There are many series of chain events. A step low vibrational stepmother and a low, low vibrational father is about to go to jail soon. So through many series of chain events, a low vibrational stepmother and a low vibrational father is about to go to jail soon. They might be the ones who had the hand in the camera with the camera in the bedroom or not. Um, somebody's about to go to jail. 
a low vibrational stepmother and a low vibrational father, whether you create a series of chain events to put them there or you or not. I don't know. Um, for some, I feel you could be the police and you're going to arrest their ass. Um, I'm not sure. Only you know your situation story, not anybody else, Libra. Okay. Occupation reverse number 34. It could be a very significant number in one's life. Number 34. Occupation reverse. Unemployment fraud is both kind of significant in one of your life. For one, you committed unemployment fraud. For one, somebody else did. For one, you're about to bust somebody with unemployment fraud. So, occupation reverse is unemployment fraud. So, unemployment fraud is both kind of significant in one of you guys' life. Whether you committed the unemployment fraud, somebody you're connected to committed unemployment fraud, or you are about to help bust the unemployment fraud. How that resonates and applies. That's changes, busting the unemployment. We have a lot of investigator energy in here, a lot. So whether you have committed the unemployment fraud, you know about uh, you committed the unemployment fraud, somebody you're connected to committed unemployment fraud, or you're investigating the unemployment fraud and you're about to bust their asses. Occupation reverse, unemployment. Drawing somebody else's unemployment in this aspect. Unemployment fraud. Okay. All right. I love you guys. Everybody have a wonderful day. Namaste.